My name is Caleb. My son's name is Mark. Uh, we're from New Jersey. I'm 49 years old and Mark it just turned 12 uh, in May. And in terms of hobbies, I like to golf. Uh, Mark, what do you like to do for a hobby? Play video games. Mark likes to play video games. Uh, what kind of video game do you Minecraft. like? Minecraft. <laughs> he likes to play Minecraft. Mark got diagnosed when he was around uh, 20 months old. And, you know, since then we did very intensive therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. Any type of therapy you can think of, he got. We also worked with him at home after his therapies. The issues that impact him the most, there was some flapping. Um, I think it, it hindered his, his ability to verbally communicate. He was able to, to talk, but, but um, not really in what I would say for a long period of time. It was comprehension as well as just being able to string along sentences to hold a conversation. In terms of how it's helped us, you know, with the improvements, I, I think, you know, it allows us to step back, not be involved in his day to day. It allows him to be involved with his siblings a little bit more without us having to intervene to sort of facilitate him playing with them. Um, so I think that's probably been the biggest impact. We learned about uh, the Institute, researched it to be honest to see if we can do it in the States and nobody's really doing the type of stuff that the Institute is doing here, um, which is the reason why we decided to come here. And the first time we came here, it was I believe in January of, of 2022. Uh, that was Mark's first treatment. I believe he was around 10 years old. With autism, it's about time, you know, and so at some point you run out of time. So that's the reason why we, we, we came down here. And like I said, you know, after our first experience, we did see, you know, at least we felt that we saw results with an increase in social behavior with him, which is what led us down here the second time. My wife and I noticed when we got back around the first two weeks, he was much calmer. He was just much more social. Um, he would play with his friends at school more. He would initiate conversations. He holds conversations for a longer period of time. Um, so we saw improvement in the social aspects of his life, which is what we were looking for when we came down here. You know, the staff is very friendly, they're very professional, they're very cordial, they're very patient with Mark, and, and from what I've seen with, with other children. So it's just been overall a very a great experience. And the way they coordinate the traveling and, and the pickups, it's, it's been great. It's very seamless. We, we're a little hesitant to travel outside the country to, for treatment, and I think the Institute does a very good job, and you know, you're not, you're not losing anything in my view by, by trying it. I would say to anybody who's considering it to do their research, you know, make their own decision, but for us, what do you have to, in, in my view, what, what do you have to lose in, in trying it?